Hey everybody, it's Bob from Wham's Tech, and this is part two of how to create a gamification app in Glide. If you haven't watched part one yet, go back and do that. It shows you how to do an onboarding process, creating your sheet, creating the users in your sheet, and then assigning those users to guilds. So for part two, I was debating whether to go uh, creating challenges for users to complete or creating the ranking system for your users, and I decided on the latter, how to create a ranking system. And then in part three, we'll take a look at how to create challenges for your users. So. Ranking. Uh, let's go back to our spreadsheet here and create a new sheet called ranks. And uh, what, do we, what do we need here? We need the rank. We need the image. Let's be more specific. Rank image. And then minimum points and maximum points, right? So min points and maximum points. Now, we're not going to use these minimum points and maximum points in, to determine which rank they are. This is going to be for display purposes only. If you were to use this information for spreadsheet formulas, then you would definitely need to use this in order to determine the ranking system. But Glide, um, we're doing things differently in Glide, right? We're doing all of our calculations within Glide using the data editor. That way those calculations are instant. So we're gonna take a different approach here, but I still want this minimum points and maximum points. That way we can have them for display purposes on the ranks. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and grab some ranks. Uh, I've already created some in a different app here. So I'm just gonna steal them because why recreate the wheel? All right, so I have the rank names. I already have minimum points and maximum points. Great. Okay, like that. And then uh, the image, and the image needs to be a URL. Like so, so that's all you need. Uh, you see here in this one, I have just an image formula to so that way you can get a little thumbnail in your spreadsheet, okay? But we're not viewing the spreadsheet necessarily, so I mean, if you want to throw that in there, you can just for your own benefit, but you're not, the, the Glide app doesn't know how to recognize that. It's, it's gonna be a null column. All right, so I have rank, image, min points, max points, great. All right, here in my app, let's give it a refresh. And then we're gonna create a new tab here for all of the ranks, just like we did with guilds, right? So we're gonna add a new tab. For the ranks, we'll call this ranks. And let's find a nifty little tab for rank. Let's see what do we get. Uh, this looks like a leaderboard. I don't want that. That looks like a badge. I don't want that either. Let's go back to award again. Sometimes you get a ribbon. Ooh, this is like an army rank. Looks kind of good. Maybe this one. Oh, this one would be good for my guilds. All right, I'm going to switch these. All right, this is going to be my rank. Because it kind of looks like a army rank. Maybe this one. And this one. My guilds banner. I'm gonna change that. Award. Yes. Look at this guy with the star. That's much better. That looks like a banner for a guild. Perfect. All right. I don't know why I didn't see that one yesterday. All right. So now we have a list of all of our ranks. All right. Um, I don't see why we need to favorite things here, but we can go ahead and configure what this tab looks like. So we have a rank image, our rank. Uh, details does not need to be that. Now, if you want to show what the minimum and maximum is here, we need to create a template column. So back in the data editor, I'm gonna to go to ranks and we're gonna create a template column called like rank range, call it whatever you want. And it'll be a template. And we're gonna say the min dash max, where the min and the max will be replaced with the actual values. So the min points and max points like that. Okay, so this is basically just a concatenation if you were to do this in a spreadsheet, right? But with Glide, it's instant and it's much easier. All right, so for details, we can now use the rank range like that. And if we wanna show everything at once, we can do compact. And now we can see the rank image, the rank name, and then the points. Feel free to play around with um, you know, your view if you want a card style instead or a tile style instead, you can feel free to do that. But I kind of like this to see everything on one screen here. And then uh, let's dive into one of these, like novice. Okay, and we can make this look a little prettier. Let's go ahead and close, delete all those. And we can add just a blank image for the image, let's say. And then maybe, um, you know, a text column. No, not rich text. We'll just do a text column because that way we can center it. I wish you could center this basic text and rich text too, but you can't. And only center regular text. I could center align. Let's make it headline one, nice and large. And then we can do our 
rank range. Now, this rank range doesn't give us much, uh, doesn't give us our units, right? So back in our data, we need to set our units here, don't we? So we can do a precision of one because these recognize as number columns. Um, group separator, sure, we can do that. And then units will be XP, like that. And you can see here how our template automatically picks that up. Done, and we'll do the same thing for our max points. XP, I put a space, so it's kind of separated there. If you don't want the space, you don't have to. Uh, precision, one, we don't need any decimals. All right, so now, well, that should give us our, right, zero XP to nine XP. I don't know why that's not showing. Well, that's not good. Maybe give us a refresh. It should be there, that XP should be there. That's the text doesn't like it for whatever reason. There we go, okay, it's needed a refresh, fine. That looks a little better. And now underneath it, we're going to eventually put the members of these ranks, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. All right, the next thing that we need to do here is determine who has which rank. So I'm gonna come over here to the data editor and go to the users tab here. And the first thing we're going to do is create a math column that's going to sum up the amount of points that this user has earned so far, which is zero. And then we're going to create an if-then column to compare which rank they should get based on their XP. So the first thing, we're going to add a column. And we're going to call this, you can call this XP or XP calculation or total XP, maybe total XP, something like that. And it's going to be a math column. And it's going to add up all of the different columns that will eventually add that contribute to their XP. Right now, we don't have any of them. So I'm going to put just zero for now because that's all they've earned. All right. Eventually, we'll do like zero plus XP earned plus XP, earned, you know, things of that nature. But we don't have those columns yet. And units will be, again, XP like so. Okay, done. And then the last thing we have to do is check who has this, uh, who has that value. So we're going to go ahead and call this rank, and it's going to be an if-then column. And now we have to create a series of if-thens that's going to determine which rank they are. So first off, if their um, XP, if their total XP is what? Um, here, if it's less than or equal to 99, right, then they're novice. So we're going to say, you know, less than or equal to 99, then novice. All right, so you see here I'm a novice rank. And you just kind of go through the list of creating all these if then. So I'm going to add a case. Again, total XP is less than or equal to, what's the next one? 249, 249. Okay, then bronze, and so forth. All right, I'm not gonna waste your time, let's skip ahead. All right, we've inserted all of our if-then statements that com are compared to our points max, as you see over here. We'll hit done, and now we've, uh, we've determined all of the ranks that these users can possibly earn. Now, uh, we have the rank, and now we have to do is create that relation from the rank that they earned back to the ranks sheet. So we'll add a column, we'll do a relation, We'll call this rel rank, and we're going to do where the rank matches the value in ranks rank. And so now you see that this is the, uh, it found a match, and it's got to be spelled exactly the same, capitalization, everything in order for it to match. Done. And now I can start pulling in some information, right? Uh, the only thing I really want, I guess, is the rank image. So just like we did with the guild image. So we can do rank image the lookup of the rank rank image great okay uh, now we can also get percentage complete right so we're going to do it add a column we're going to grab the max value that this person needs to obtain here so we're going to do um, max points needed or points needed maybe or max points per rank max points current rank and it's a lookup and we're going to grab the maximum points 
Okay, so we have our current XP, we have our maximum XP, and now we need to determine what percentage complete we are. So for that, we're gonna add a math column. We do math, and we're gonna do our total divided by our maximum, and then we want a percentage, so we'll do times 100. And we can use the actual percentage sign here, and then we don't need precision. We just want a 0%, 1%, 22%, something like that, right? We don't need commas because we're never going to go above 100, and that should look good. And then maybe we want to put the rank along with the percentage. So for that, we need a template column. So I'll add a column here. We'll do a template, and we'll call this rank plus percentage. Sometimes I even put the word like display, just let me knowing that this is just for display purposes. And we're going to do our rank, and then maybe in parentheses what the percentage is, something like that. And so we need to replace the rank and then our percentage, where R stands for rank, and percentage stands for the math column, which I never named. Let's go ahead and do that. Call this rank progress. Okay. Perfect. So novice at 0% right now. So let's just test this. So if I simulate, giving me myself 50 experience points here, um, we can add 50, done. So we see that 50 experience points divided by the 99 experience points gives us 51%, and so we're novice at 51%. All right, now if we wanna add that information in here, we could add a progress bar, because progress bars are fun in order to track progress. And our column is going to be our percentage, which is our rank progress. Look at that, 50%. And we don't want the word progress. I mean, maybe you want the word progress, I don't know. Or we can actually make this title the uh, display that we chose, something like this. So we have our novice, what the points were, and then we see what our progress is. Kind of neat. I wish you could put the image like over here somewhere. Wouldn't that be fun? Yeah, so maybe if, if you want to do something like that, you have to create a basic table. You know, maybe you have like your rank progress here, or maybe like the, what, maybe your minimum points and maximum points? How would that look? Maybe that space in between. I don't know. But we could do something like maximum points and then the image. I don't know. I mean, I guess we're not actually showing how much experience we have at the moment either. So you can show like total experience points like this. And then like your image like that. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll make this look a little bit prettier in the, in the end here, but you can see that all of the information is there, right? All right, so we have our experience points. We have our rank image, right? Uh, maybe for our relation here, we want to get rid of just the rank range. We don't need to show that here. If we're showing ourselves novice here, maybe we don't need that either. So maybe we just do our XP. Oh, or not, because this is the actual rank. All right, so rank. Maybe our total XP is up here out of 99. Oh, maybe we could do something like that, right? What if we did... Um, our current out of total. This is going to be a template column where we have our XP, total XP. So I'll just do um, X out of total. What do we think? Where we have our total XP out of the, what's needed, right? Something like that. And then maybe we, so we have this, we have that, we have our percentage. So maybe instead of the word novice, since the novice is already there, right? We can delete that and make that the percentage. I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud here. Percentage. There's various ways to do this, obviously. So rank progress like that, yeah. 
So maybe our progress bar has that as the display. Something like this, right? So you have the image, you have what's what it is, and you have this information. Yeah, we'll play around with this eventually here, but you can see that all the information is there. And now we can create some relations back to the ranks again to show who has earned which rank. So let's go back to our ranks tab and let's create a relation. We'll call this uh, rel owners where the word ranks is going to match the value in ranks ranks and it's going to be matched multiple because we might have more than one wait did i do that right not ranks sorry users ranks there we go so this is the one person who's earned it so far and so now underneath the ranks we can add who's earned the rank so we can add a separator there maybe and then a relation column not a relation column, inline list. Inline list, tiles, and we'll make it match our list before. So we could say um, users that have earned this rank. Users that have, users who have earned this rank, that have earned this rank. Uh, again, they don't give us much spacer there. What is up with that? So let's add a spacer, some rich text that's blank. And throw that above the inline list. There we go. All right, inline list, four per row. Make it a circle, and we don't need the avatar. Oh, I mean, not the avatar. We don't need the guild underneath. Like that. All right, so now we see Bob. And actually now, if you want to show what their XP is, maybe under details, we can show what their total XP is, something like this. All right, and we see that same public profile now. All right, so now under our guilds, same thing. So under dragons, right, if we want to, we can add that total XP as the details. So that way people know what, what our XP is, or maybe what our rank is. You know, we can do either rank, novice, or we could do what the total XP is, something like that. All right. Maybe rank. And then same thing for our all users. We can show what our rank is. Like that. All right, let's test this out. Now everything should change dynamically here, right? So our next rank is at 100 points, we go to bronze. So let's simulate that. Let's say I earned 150 points. That puts me right in between these two numbers for bronze, right? You see here it automatically changes me to bronze. My rel rank is bronze. My rank image now is bronze. And my new maximum points is bronze. And it shows that I'm 60% of the way to silver. All right, let's simulate that again. Let's say I just earned gold at 501 points. All right, you see my new maximum is 749. All right, I'm seeing that my percentage is actually incorrect here. It's showing at 67%, and I know what my mistake was. My mistake was that I'm still just dividing this by this, and this is going to give me 67%, but I'm not 67% of the way to my next level. So we have to do a little bit of more math here. All right, so we're going to add a column here, and we're going to call this our min points. All right, and we're going to just do a lookup of the rank min points like that okay so now we have our min and our max for our rank then we have to get the division here so we need to or the difference so we're going to do our max minus our min all right so that gives us how many points um, we need in order to earn then so like 250 points right and that becomes what we're dividing by. And our numerator is going to be what the current amount of points we have, our total, minus what the minimum is. Like that. There we go. All right, so our total, 501, minus the minimum, 500, gives us one point. And our maximum amount of points, which is 749, minus the 
minimum, which is 500, gives us 249. So we are one point out of 249 needed to go to the next rank, which is 0%. So my fault on the math earlier, but this is, should be the correct formula if you are setting up your sheet like this. All right, done. Oh, of course, what in the world? All right, users display current total. Fine, we'll just remove the column. We're not using it anyway. All right, so this is our current. Perfect. All right, so if I go back to our profile, all right, we now see I'm 501 out of 749 XP. I'm at 0% of the way. And if I were to simulate halfway into that, giving myself maybe like 600 points, right? I now see that I am 41% of the way to the next rank, like so. All right, if you're anything like me, you're probably not happy with the way that this looks. So I'm gonna show you a quick little bonus at the end of this video, which will allow you to customize what your title looks like here. So the trick is, is to use an inline list to create your title page. And to do that, to create an inline list, you need to have a multiple relation. So in my users, I'm going to create a relation and I'm gonna call this relation, relation to self. I do this all of the time when I want to make a nice little profile picture with some different data in that, built into that profile. And, what we're going to do is we're going to relate our email address back to itself where it matches in users email address but we need to match multiple i know that that's not going to, there is no multiple right we only have one email address but by matching multiple it enables us to add an inline list component for this row line so i hit done okay now when i go to add an inline list Okay. I can choose relationship to self and you see that I can now choose my view, right? So maybe I want a tiles view, right? And my tiles view, I can make it look exactly like this if I want to. I can get rid of this title for list, right? I can stretch it all the way out if I want, make it square and spread it all the way out. If I want to, I can even use the same ratio, four to three, right? Or I can make it full square. So it takes up, you know, I guess you get the full image here. And if I want this information down over here, I can add that too. And I just have to make it an overlay. So I'm gonna do an overlay like this, but I'm gonna send it down to the bottom left and make it large. And you can see it kind of emulates what this looks like, All right? So I can now drag this to the top. I can get rid of my title, okay? I now see the full image. Um, but it also allows us to add in other items as well. Like for example, I can add in an avatar of my guild image, like so with dragons, right? And my caption could be my guild, right? So now I can get rid of this information altogether if I didn't want to have to link out, right? If you want to have the link, great. You can keep that there and get rid of this. So maybe what I want to do is for my avatar, I can choose my rank image like this. Let me see my rank image and I can see what my rank like that. And that means I can get rid of this altogether, right? So I can get rid of my relation. I can drag my progress bar right underneath my uh, progress bar here, right? Um, we can go one further. If you want to, instead of going to do a tiles view, maybe we're a cards view something like this, right? Where you have our name and your uh, guild here. For We can include a header, like maybe this is our rank and display, right? Or maybe it's our XP display, something like this, right? Um, or maybe we're adding this information down over here in the caption. So again, you can mix and match and play kind of what you want. Like this is kind of nice, right? Gold, and then what our status is of our gold all on one line. Oh, I like that, that looks pretty. And then under for the header, we can now use this for some other information that we want, right? Maybe we want to add our username here or something, I don't know. And we also can play with having a tag 
up here as well right so again lots of to play with i like this cards view a lot because it gives you a lot of places to put things and so now that we have this for our progress bar um we can actually just get rid of the title altogether and so our progress bar is nice and tight to our our card view and if you want to make this look even seamless in our card view we can get rid of the border and make it none so it kind of like blends into itself like this i don't know play around with it see what you think but at least now we have that functioning so we have our profile we have our ranks which i'm actually going to tuck into our menu all right so we have our ranks we have our guilds we have our all users let's rearrange these all users guilds our ranks and this will fast forward to our guilds this will fast forward to our ranks. We can see that I'm no longer a novice, but I'm a gold now. Okay. And we have a progress bar that shows our rank percentage. Pretty nifty. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do here in uh, Glide is to create challenges, which will allow us to add experience points automatically to our player profiles. So stay tuned for part three of gamification in Glide.